Emilio Peruga's interest in epilepsy started in the field of clinical pharmacology. Following medical school at the University of Pavia in 1975, he earned a scholarship to the Karolinska Institute in Sweden to work with a research team investigating drugs for epilepsy. He then took his first job at the Chalfont Center for Epilepsy in London in 1976. He earned his PhD at the University of London in 1980 and trained as a neurologist and clinical pharmacologist at the National Hospital for Nervous Diseases, London. Today, Dr. Peruka is professor at the University of Pavia and director of the Clinical Trial Center of the C. Mondino National Neurological Institute in Pavia. Over the past decade, Dr. Peruka has contributed to several advocacy initiatives to improve epilepsy services and research funding in Europe and beyond. His focus in research has been on the development of anti-epileptic medications and outcome assessment in epilepsy. He co-edited several international textbooks and authored over 450 PubMed-listed publications. Dr. Peruka is past president of the International League Against Epilepsy and was awarded the 2018 European Epileptology Award. I feel really humbled by it. Uh, I feel I don't deserve it. I think it's really a recognition not to myself, but to the entire group of people with whom I've been working together over so many years. Christina Malmgren was already a mother of two when she earned her medical degree in 1982 and started work at the Department of Neurology at the Selgrenska Hospital in Gothenburg. In 1988, she completed both her thesis in motor control and became a specialist in neurology. Today, Dr. Malmgren is professor in neurology and head of the Department of Clinical Neuroscience at Gothenburg University. She has published more than 100 original papers and has written a number of educational books for colleagues and patients. She also leads a clinical epilepsy team and a research group with colleagues from all over Sweden, Scandinavia, Europe, and Canada. She has for many years participated in the league's teaching courses. Christina was awarded the 2018 European Epilepsy Education Award. It's given in recognition to outstanding contributions to European epilepsy education. It's a great honor to be awarded like this. I also feel that it's, it's very important because education is uh, one of our most important tasks. Seeing her first EEG in medical school is what sparked Dr. Birgit Froscher's interest in epilepsy and sleep research. The simple test that provides so many clues to the brain first led the Austrian neurologist to a career in neurophysiology research. After a decade, in 2012, she was given the opportunity to work in her alma mater's epilepsy monitoring unit at Innsbruck Medical University. There, she specialized in intracranial EEG. Her career has since focused on the many ways the EEG can help people with therapy, refractory epilepsy, and sleep disorder. She is currently an attending epileptologist and associate professor of neurology at the Montreal Neurological Institute and Hospital, McGill University. She has published more than 125 papers in epilepsy and sleep. Brigitte was honored with the 2018 Young Investigator Award. This awards outstanding contributions to epilepsy research in order to stimulate a promising research career in epileptology. It's a great honor for me to have won this award and uh, obviously it's not only my achievement but also the achievement of all of my mentors who supported me in the past 18 years in my career in research. Selvin Rems discovered his love for the field of epilepsy as a medical student at Strasbourg. Dr. Rems completed his neurology residency in 2003 and then in turn obtained his PhD in neuroscience at Mediterranean Institute for Neurobiology in Marseille. At 36, he was appointed to head one of the most active epilepsy surgery centers in Europe, the Department of Functional Neurology and Epilepsy. He coordinates the French National Reference Center for Rare Epilepsies, and is deeply involved in the European Reference Network for Rare and Complex Epilepsies. He has published 71 papers focusing on clinical epilepsy, SUDEP, epilepsy surgery, clinical trials, biostatistics, and experimental epilepsy. His main research today focuses on SUDEP, including the safety of new anti-epileptic treatments and innovative therapies. Dr. Rems also received a 2018 Investigator Award. It's uh, of course a great honor for me. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to receive this, uh, this award. Fanola Quinn has been the point person for the last 16 years of Epilepsy Congresses. As the ILAE IBE Congress Secretariat, she has successfully coordinated 32 Epilepsy Congresses around the world. 
contributing to the League's efforts to bring education to different European countries to help eradicate stigma. She also manages the scientific programs in close collaboration with the Chairs of Congresses, building networks of epilepsy professionals around Europe and the world. In recent years, Fanola has also been involved in the coordination of the League's Virtual Epilepsy Academy. She sees great value in the League and IBE's work and is dedicated to seeing their educational activities thrive and continue to expand. Fanola Quinn is receiving the 2018 European Epilepsy Service Award for her extraordinary dedicated service to improved epilepsy education and to the international epilepsy community. I've been working with the Congress Secretariat for the last 17 years and involved in myriad congresses and projects around Europe and the world, all furthering the education of epilepsy um, and trying to eradicate stigma and so on for, for people with epilepsy and everybody involved in the field of epilepsy. So it's a huge honour to have the recognition for that work for me and for the team.